Alright, uh, hello and welcome to the Winter Fling here on twitch.tv slash ddostream. Don't forget to give us a follow if you would like to be notified for whenever we are going live with shows just like this one, and you can find our full schedule on twitch.tv slash ddostream. We are also multi-twitching the show here, so if you would like to check that out, it's multi-twitch.tv, and then slash all of the usernames you want to watch. So that'll be slash uh, ddostream slash Lessa101 slash Samus Garobo uh, slash Bonnie Bew, uh, for example, and that'll get you where you need to go. So let's do some introductions. Uh, here first is Lessa. How you doing? Hey, hey, Jerry. How's it going? Uh, we're getting uh, dugging out uh, from the uh, big snowstorm. Got about yeah. 30 inches of snow here and uh, around where I live. Maybe a little less uh, around where yeah, the office is. You still is. managed to get into work. I am a Minnesota guy. Plus, I had a neighbor with a big uh, tractor with a uh, snowplow attachment, so that made things a lot easier for me. I kind of live in an area with a lot of sort of, uh, I guess I would say, what, manly men? Kind of, you know, home improvement oh. types. And so they enjoy having lots of snow <laughs> or things like this because they get to bring out the power tools. And so, oh, sweet. Yeah, so we got lots of power tools around where I live here. Yeah. Uh, also with us is Samus Garobo. How you doing, Samus? I'm good. I'm good. I just want to point out that it is uh, 71 degrees in Kansas. But you know a thing or two about big snowstorms. Well, yeah, we're supposed to have snow on Saturday. So, but it's 71 today, so snow on Saturday. Because, you know, Kansas. That's uh, how I'll, Kansas works. Also with us here is uh, Vagabond. How you doing, Vagabond? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. Uh, finally is Bonnie Bew. How you doing, Bonnie? Great, Bew. Hello, everyone. And you just wrapped up the uh, Shroud Palooza last weekend. We're going to probably get a highlight of that out to YouTube and everything within the next couple of days. Yes, we wrapped up the Shrapalooza tour on Thalanus. It was a great time. And uh, future plans still to be determined. Still to be determined. Yep. I'm going to sleep a couple weekends. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so what are we doing here today? We are going to face off against the Demon Queen on Heroic Elite, and we're going to win this time. We are better prepared. We have got uh, heal scrolls, res scrolls, uh, ranged weapons. And uh, we're more on our game. Yeah, paying attention and everything. Hello. <laughs> what was that? Uh, what? Well, huh? Yeah. I was. We're, I really wasn't paying a lot game? of attention. <laughs> exactly. It's all good. We'll figure it out. Not answering like 18 text messages from people. Totally paying attention. Totally paying attention. Totally and I'm, not I'm totally more better prepared. <laughs> well, at least I got some heal scrolls and res scrolls this time, and uh, an arranged weapon thanks to Vagabond uh, mailing me a Morning Star. So, the real secret is: Did Vagabond figure out where to jump off to save us? I think I, I think I did. Okay. Uh, it took a couple times, but I, I think I've got a better grip on that, and hopefully it won't come to that. And, but it and may. we're not gonna jump just immediately jump back through the door. We figured out that it, it takes you back to the top. Yep, I've actually got a couple pocket shrines with me, too. I don't know if they'll work in a raid. Uh, I think they might, but I don't know. I don't, don't think so. Okay, if they don't, good. I won't use them. If they don't, good. <laughs> we ain't need no shrinage. I right. stepped into the raid. I think that's very important to completion, right? It, it's, it's step one. I'll give you that. And, uh, yeah, with step level one. Up, Are you in the raid? Yes, no. Sometimes with, I have a problem with that step. With this uh, new level up, I got uh, improved precise shots, so my DPS should be much better against trash from now on, but about the same against the boss. It's a little sad. Oh, on the plus side, we can loot this collectible infinite times, too. <laughs> it's my favorite collectible. So I was running the uh, Midwinter Festival just a little bit casually on the uh, Wednesday live stream here. You know, people asked me to run Rezia, and I had to admit my extreme noobness when it comes to Rezia. 
after all these years, I'm still unable to do the jump. Like, lesson I made a video. How I know, can you not I know, be a I've practiced. There's just something wrong with me. It's a me issue. Right. And I just can't. Uh, I cannot get it. I just, I've never been able to. I don't know why that is. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe we'll have to do another training video. No, it's, it, it, you could train me forever, and I'm still not going to get it. It's just, like I say, it's a me problem. I'm just never going to get the Reezy Ice games. But Midwinter I can do. Yeah, I uh, heard a nasty, nasty rumor, and then uh, somebody confirmed it for me, so I'm not skating this year, I don't think. They said that you can no longer apply the resistance to your cosmetic items. Uh, you can, you should be able to, just not the Mirror of Glamour items. Alright, I might give it another check then, but... Yeah, I, uh... I heard that that couldn't work, and then Tobrell checked it out for me, and he's like, yeah, it doesn't work. I'm like, hmm. it, it, and I should mention that my evidence on this is anecdotal as well. I've not actually tried to do it myself, so... Yeah, I need to probably actually go try it, yeah. but... So, if... For me, though, changing my outfit is the only reason why I would do it. Because otherwise I'll just wear the same outfit forever. I'm one of those people. Alright, we good to go? I think so. Uh, Lessa, I put on my... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just get killed sooner or later. You put on your what? You don't want I, cold iron I, weapons? Yeah, I equipped the cold iron arrows. Alright, you can have acid then. Yeah, it doesn't matter because we tried it last time. It didn't overcome her. Didn't really? overcome her resistance. Yeah, the, well, the that six sucks. She's probably got like a twelve or th something cold resistance. Eh, or I'm acid. on null duty anyway, so. Yep, yep. All right, you're gonna ping the nulls and get all their aggros. Yeah. All right, we ready? Let's do it. Can I have blur, Jerry? Uh yeah, I should have passed it out to everybody. Um, I, yes, you did. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Idiot. Oh my goodness, she teleported and I can't find her. She's and she's in right north. in front of me the whole time. Definitely good at my job. Comes. There you go, Primzy. Tanker, tanker. As soon as I say that, you let her go. Yeah. It's like you don't love me. You want me to get you killed? Admit it. All that doing that uh, attention seeking rangery. Dang it. Winch. That hurt. We getting him back up? Yeah, we'll give him a second to get Jerry raised and rebuffed.
Here she comes. They, uh, they enfeebled me. Jerks. She's gonna be popping pretty quickly. She's uh, displaced. I don't suppose anyone's got true saying. Yep, here we go. Oh, no, 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 run. She's angry. The hussy. <laughs> oh, she's gonna die. Here she goes. Wow! She came close to me and I freaked out. I think I peed a little bit. <laughs> well, you're nice. wearing your doll diaper, right? All right, Shrine I'm gonna buff here. these yeah. chests. I will buff Please the chests. All right. I will not buff the chest. Or the lock. Alright, there's that one. Ooh. Don't think I can buff this one? We'll see. Sweet wand of water breathing. Look at that, guys. The next time we're drowning, I can give us all bobbleheads. <laughs> we didn't get anything named out of that? No, I think it kind of So, yeah. the loot table does not like us. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah well, that the, was pretty bad. The seventh person would have gotten something awesome. <laughs> But hey, this was about uh, personal honor, not about loot. Other than last week, I did that one time in 99, a cleric. I'm not familiar with it. Oh, it's a good one. And it's a good one once yeah. you kind of get figured out. To, uh, it's an excellent... Uh, Soloing the first, you know, cutting your teeth solo raid. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, what do you think we should run next? Now yeah, let me hit the old P button. Sort this by level. We are fifteen, which means thirteen, which means the beginning of giant hold walkups. Um, we already did blockade buster and that like. Yeah, I guess the next one would really be giant hold walkups. That's fine with me. Didn't we just do that though, or is that something else? I have a feeling it's something, something else. else. I think you did that on your weekly live stream. Yeah, you're uh, last us week. With some other server. <laughs> yeah, on Wayfinder, if I recall correctly. Okay. Cool. Well, that's fine with me. We can we can do giant hold walkups. Um, yeah. Why we? Uh, I'm just gonna re-hit the ship buffs and whatnot. But while we do that, I'm gonna take a quick second and pump a couple of things. Um, first of all, Les and I will be on Friday for. Uh, I don't know. Uh, life, it role life reversal. Swap. We're calling it life swap. Life swap. Yeah. I'm I'm calling it role reversal. We'll figure out which one of these things stick. Um, but uh, so we have that. And then I think for those of you who are interested, this Sunday uh, should be the first. I think we're calling it and you may be if you know, want to bleep this later, Jerry. But I think we're calling it Dungeons and Assholes. Um, what? Where, where the pen and paper. Uh, sorry, apologize. 
Um, <laughs> Dungeons where the, and Derriers? Where the, Dungeons uh, and Derriers, that's better. <laughs> where the Pen and Paper Defense Guild will be getting together to stream via Roll D20 or Roll 20 uh, a Pen and Paper campaign. We're going to give it a shot and see how it works out. So, like, we'll have Tobrell. Um, trying to think who else you guys might know. Lessa will know a lot of names, but uh, Tobrell's probably the only real DDO person that you guys might recognize. And uh, we're going to bust out the digital dice and, and try uh, figuring that out. And that'll be live streamed on uh, Twitch TV slash Samus Grobo. Uh, I'll bet people know Grim. I don't think Grimm's going to be taking part. This is, these are the original guys that we started with back in high school um, that got us started in pen and paper to begin with. Oh, very cool. All right. Yeah, so these are, these are the guys, lifelong friends that you, you make when you, you play in someone's basement or at a pizza hut for 20 hours a week. Um, lifelong mates, and uh, we're getting back together now that we're spread out all over the country, uh, thanks to Roll20 to uh, try to play D&D together. Oh, that's cool. Uh, if you want it to get promoted on Twitter and stuff, you probably could need to change the name. Sorry. It's probably pretty likely. Um, like I said, that's Tobrell's current name for it. And uh, I don't know if we're going to change it or what we're going to do with it, but uh, that's that's the current working title. So we'll see what happens. I believe that's the title of the current adventure that we're doing, also. <laughs> nice. So that that may just be. We're all struggling to figure out uh, the roll twenty system with all of its micros and and everything. So. Um. Now that it looks like people are out in the giant hold, how do you guys usually start? Because I usually start by hitting, I think it's Feast and Famine. And then kind of moving around the map. Um, that's usually how I go. Do you guys have a preference the way you usually start? Not really. You know, I see dots no, in that general direction. I so. up. Whatever way, it's fine by me. Yeah, I'm just yeah, uh, like I always like do, do cable and feast at the same time, and then I do um, trial by fire and madstone and maze of madness at the same time, and and I'm I do just, the other uh, three. I'm killing some stuff right now. So oh, we got done. <laughs> so some stone here. So just which quest you want to go to feast first? Yeah, let's do let's do the that side. Tombstone, tombstones over this way. Um, but we're gonna bust out the fifth edition. And we're gonna try it. I know Jerry was pro fifth edition not long ago. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I myself have not been in a regular group with it, but I'm really looking forward to being in one. Hopefully, fairly soon. And it could be something that uh, after. We kind of get things figured out and situated. You might have to come join us for a couple of guest uh, spots. For sure. Right now, I think we got like a million. So I can't say, hey, come start now, but definitely pretty soon. I think it'll be pretty fun. Um, we're going to start at level two and kind of try to figure everything out. Cool. Yeah, I mean, largely it's it reminds me a lot of... Honestly, a little mix of like first and second, um, but with a real solid rule set. Not like the first and second didn't, but you know, it could be a little quirky sometimes. Yeah, um, Tobrell keeps comparing it to that cross between second and third that you hoped third would have been. So I don't know. Um, there's a lot of things that I find to be very uh, different. But like I said, I haven't gotten into it yet. I'm still running everything off a of PDF right now because um, I haven't acquired a physical copy yet, but hopefully I will this next week via my local game store, which I hope everyone goes and supports their local game store when it comes to stuff like this. And uh, For sure. 
And so anyway, like I said, I just uh, want to put it out there with plenty of time while we're waiting for everyone to form up. This way we're not trying to glue it all at the end of the end of the show. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm counting three. Who's so. still way off in nowhere land? Vagabond and Jerry. Yeah, we're we're just killing stuff. Um, while I'm thinking about it, uh, I just got the Hill Giant Hunter deed in my monster manual. Well, I've one of those people that basically just ignore the monster manual whenever it goes off. Well, last week, um, I guess it would be Saturday, Sunday, I was uh, on Samus with Tanya because we had just TR'd the missus. And the monster manual thing popped up. And I, I said it or something out loud. And uh, someone's like, yeah, I think you get astral shards for that. I'm like, well, my astral shard count didn't go up. They go, yeah, you got to go in the monster menu and click it. I started clicking through there. I think I had like 75 astral shards saved up in the monster manual that I never even knew were there. So I thought it'd be a lesson to you guys. Click that monster yeah, manual sure. once in a while. Good tip. All right, they're basically here now. How did Bagabon spend a thousand spell points keeping Jerry alive in Giant Hold? Hey, it wasn't just keeping me alive. It wasn't it's fine. just. It's fine. I don't think I healed him at all. No, actually, I, I'm doing just fine out here. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, I know everyone likes to tease me about how much I die in that, but That's I right. feel like I die that much more than the average person, do I? I don't think so. You just happen yeah. to have the only person here with less hit points than you is Lessa, and I'm not sure how she's not dead all the time either. <laughs> Besides, that's how my humor works. I gotta tease you guys. Oh yeah, I don't uh, take it personal. It's kind of funny. I shed a lone tear after turning off the mic every week. Alright, Lessa's don't move. Everyone else can stand like over here and look at them. I imagine this is how they are in real life. I just said don't move. There we go. Bam, right there. Ah, you ruined it. You two are like superimposed on top of each other. Like Siamese twins. All right. I've right, got to be good to go here, huh? Uh, I would think so. Oh, this is the first time we've seen a Burger King crown. We've been getting lots of interesting feedback, and uh, I think Friday, when after the live stream where we toured the show we're gonna have some yeah pretty interesting yeah i got some uh, i got a couple of nice and i got a couple of nice hate mails very uh very good points i'm ready to share hate mails, hate mails. so if you also have a hate mail about the champions now's your time to throw them in to the cocktail hour hate mails the hate mails what is there to hate except there aren't enough of them the champions Hey, Jerry. Champions. Trap! Not to point out this hit yeah. point situation of yours, but you had nine. <laughs> yes, you are correct. Vagabond? Yes? Get the fuck off my trap. <laughs> uh, I love you. <laughs> You're a wonderful I, person. I, I, was I on your trap? I'm the rogue. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh. I, I wasn't trying to. I didn't step up to undo uh -huh, it. I, uh -huh, there's plenty uh -huh. of room. Please. I'm uh, sorry. I'm just kidding. Uh, I love okay. You guys. I'm mostly kidding. I have the right. feeling we're gonna have a long chat about what how many nerdy, dirty words can be on Jerry's stream pretty soon. I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's another trap here. No. Well, what what if the, what if we like have some kind of like move in, move in bur oh, I'm on the swear trap. jar oh. or something? <laughs> yeah, mm. there we go. 
How about, why don't this one go off? We use a bad word in the stream. Go ahead. We have I'll to elevate. donate an extra dollar to like. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like save the children or something. Yeah. Man, I could never swear again. I don't know. Rough. I have to be honest. Really, when it comes down to it, we try to be as lax as we can be. You know, so long as we're not getting lots of complaints and stuff, it's probably fine. Well, people realize when Samus and Lessa are on a stream or on a podcast, there may be some usage of profanity for humor. Because it's just fun. Alright, who's the key master today? Uh, I think I might have grabbed the key. Excellent. You are the key master. You're going to turn into a giant dog. It's trapped here too. Speaking of, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but the sweet, sweet... Uh, News coming down about the new Ghostbusters movies looks pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of half caught that while I was uh, busy doing shoveling and stuff yesterday. It's one of my favorite uh, movie universes, TV universes. Yeah, I really like the uh, Ghostbusters movie. I was just the right age to see it back in the day. Where it oh, was yeah. just like the best thing. Between that and Ninja Turtles, basically those two posters lived on my wall through, uh, through adulthood. They may still be on my wall. I remember playing the Ghostbusters video game for the Apple IIe. I think it also ended up coming out to, what, NES and stuff. Yep, it was the like NES version. It's pretty sweet. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. Then I discovered ladies. And now the whole new Ghostbusters will be all about the ladies. I still want to kill this optional, take his stuff. Well, there goes Bonnie. I'm going to assume she wants to give you it. I was going to the door to see if one of the rogues, the rogues were like killing each other to open it for us. We don't have a rogue. We have an artificer. And we have a killing druid. each other. Anybody who can unlock a door. I've got bells of opening. Really, we don't have anyone with open locks. Yeah, I, I can open lock. I'm sure she can. Is that that? Was that what the optional is? Yes, there's an optional Which, and there's uh... a trap right here. The I can buy bells. Is... I can't get past traps. That so one can't be fixed. So it he's must built be to do a bit of trapping. Hey, did you get that chest? Uh, that chest has to be... Uh, actually... I think this is the not trap it's one, open. right? Oh goody, then I will go run off in a different direction. There's a oh, door over here more. I can get in trouble with! Yay! Yeah, I don't think this one's the trapped one. The other one was the trapped one. Since All when right. did a trap chest stop me? Uh, since usually it puts a thing in your head and then there's no loot in it. That's <laughs> where I kind of stop. We're so organized. There's also a trap box here somewhere too, Lessa. 
sometimes. You know, it's interesting, I don't know how many of you have ever listened to the commentary for Ghostbusters, like on the old DVD commentary. It's actually quite good. They talk about how they sort of really focus tested it and everything, and how sort of it altered the development of sort of the comedy of it. It's very cool. I don't think I ever have. I've only listened to the commentary for one movie, I think, and that was uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Because the commentary about that is nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I've uh, listened to most of the Kevin Smith uh, commentaries. Pretty good. Yeah, they're basically... The commentary for um, Dr. Harville's sing-along blog. Because uh -huh. it's all in song. I did like a sing along commentary. That's entirely too much work. I, I haven't actually watched any of that yet. Yeah, I, I tried watching it, but I don't know. Has anyone checked out uh, the Marco Polo yet on the Netflix? I have not. I have it on my list. I haven't watched it. Yeah, it's on my list too. Unfortunately, Suits comes back this week. So I'm rewatching the last season, plus uh, the, uh, oh, what's the Kevin Spacey Netflix show? House of Cards. House of Cards, it comes back, so I gotta find time to rewatch it, too. Or at least the last season. Alright, that's all of those. And a lot of good stuff going on right now. User surprisingly, the channel. surprisingly large number of good stuff. There's some stranger in the channel. Uh, that is Raider X. He is a potential guildy on Sarlona, and I th think he's just popping in to see what the fuss is about. He probably logged on and saw that people were in the channel and wanted to eye spy on us. Maybe Hopefully. you heard too much foul language over the channel. Well, that's possible too. From your nope. Yep. He was welcome to do so. Talk to him about that later. I still love you, Vagabond! <laughs> uh, that's usually what she says to me, so I imagine it's probably horrible lies. It's like I spent Anna 18 User hours editing the, the show. I don't know. What a great spell that is. You know, how much, how interesting it is for people to talk about TV during our stream here or whatever, but. I mean, I, sometimes uh, you. Yeah. I've been watching the, uh, the new season of The Fall. I don't know if you've uh, watched that show. At I ha it's on my list. Um, the first season was really good. Yeah, it was. So. Uh, but I love it when the bad guys win, so. I, just Jillian Anderson's really good in that, too. Yeah, Grimm made me start watching it, because she's like, Jillian Anderson this, Julius Anderson that, but um, I'm more compelled by the, the bad guy in the story, I think, than anything. And he's like... Oh, we should Were do this optional, optional too. Yeah, we probably should. Just to grab the that explorer point easily for everyone. 
Right, right. Yeah, so let's uh, turn this into a bit of tutorial. Feast Owen Famine. There is a tu uh, optional in this quest that'll take you out and is uh, worth doing because uh, you get the Explorer, for one thing. It's a rare case of an Explorer being sort of locked behind a quest. And, uh, and what else? There's a chest. I believe there's a chest. Uh, not for the optional, technically, but... It is the only way to get the chest to spawn. Oh, sweet, a manstone skull. Nice. Ring the bell, did it not pop? I don't know. I'm I know it takes a while for it to uh, proc, but... Not this long. And it hasn't even showed yeah. up on the optional. Yeah. Uh, maybe we broke it. Maybe we slayed everything in there so fast it's not going to spawn. Could be. You're right. in Feast or Famine now? Yes. It must be in a different guild. Oh, no, here we go. Cool. Yes, this is... Uh, this is our static group that we live stream every Wednesdays um, on uh, Arganesson, I think, right? Uh, with yeah, Lessa and myself are. and Jerry and Bonnie, Bew, and Vagabond. So. Oh, okay. And you could check it out on twitch.tv slash samusgrobo or Lessa101 or DDO stream or Bonnie Bew. So, okay. <laughs> once again, wave at your tens of people watching you on the on the internet. Yeah. Hi, everybody. We're listening. <laughs> We're listening. That's we Raider X. Uh, so you're on the other server then, the Argusin server. That is correct. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I logged on. I said, "Wow, there's a party going on over there. I should go see what's going on." That's it. That's what we're doing. Currently got our guys at level 15 and slaughtering some hobgoblins. Or knobgoblins, as we like to say in the defense field. <laughs> yep, my, uh, my defense skill character uh, capped out. Uh, was it last week, week before? Now I go through a so lot my, of effort my swash to. swash is now 28. I go through a lot of effort to make sure that no one knows that you have a character in our guild. <laughs> oh. I think you started playing him, right? Yeah, I just started playing him on the live stream. It's all right. Until it becomes a problem, I'm just going to go for it. Sounds good. Ask for <clears throat> forgiveness instead of permission. Yep. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yep. Well, I think. Frankly, times have changed enough that it's it's all right. I'm down. We live in a post live stream world. Well, that's just it, right? Like, once you start doing this streaming stuff, and uh, I mean, you squelch some people, but for the most part, you don't get bothered. Yeah, it really hasn't been a problem at all. That was our main concern, so. Yep. Yep. And to be honest, it's just nice to be able to play characters that actually have gear that, like, I've earned and everything. Right. I mean, you can kind of just sort of retrofit yourself, but not really. Not really. It's just different. To some yeah. extent, you need that, you know, 20, 30 hours played with a character to really sort of get it all working out. Well, like we've talked before, like, people sometimes think that just because you work for Turbine, you can just spawn whatever you want. Well, that's not the case. That actually gets you in more trouble than uh, just trying to farm it up yourself. Yeah, I can't do it at all. Um, Correct. On, yeah, on this account. You know, on my admin account, my plus right. account, I can. But that's under the constraints of, of doing official sort of community or, uh, you know, Turbine work. Right. So, like, there's... 
if you if a quest bugs out on you and we're stuck in it, it's the same as if any other player. Yep. So, I mean, it's all the same. You follow the same rules everyone else does, and and uh, no, it does make things a little interesting because sometimes we have uh, weird conversations like, "Hey, yeah, this is a bug. You guys want to help me test it?" And it's like, um, no. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. That's true natural curiosity come on we could break this like come on let's prove that this is actually broken <laughs> um or we could spend our two hours of playtime doing something beneficial <laughs> but i mean you know we usually don't mind stopping and helping out if it's a quick bug fix or stuff like that so we do get occasional side events like that but yeah. um, for the most part you know just like any anybody else playing the game so don't don't start sending him a million tells that's all I'm saying. yeah exactly right i mean to be honest i will and i know this makes me sound like a jerk but i will just ignore you <laughs> I, I basically don't, i don't have time to when i'm really truly playing and i'm hanging with friends and that if if i can't respond to you i simply won't um while we're doing the quick teaching moment thing jerry would you mind standing right about here for a second okay and just and we just wait there. Um, remember how we mentioned that? Uh, yeah, we'll do Cabal real fast. Um, remember how we mentioned that? Uh, that was one of the few situations where you can only get to that explorer from over there. Uh, that's the easiest in the way that it was intended to get over there. Um, but if you have the jump spell and a feather fall and some sort of abundant leap effect. You can actually stand on the ed the very tippy tap edge of this, um, I don't know, spiky thing. Yeah. Rock Do bridge. a jump and a leap, and and you can make it up there. So, yeah. Uh, but it will not spawn that chest and stuff. So the only way to spawn that particular encounter, get that chest and stuff, you have to go the the long way. But it'll get you the explorer if that's your goal. Correct. I just wanted to, with our tens of followers, I wanted to point that out in case yeah, somebody yeah, for sure goes back and watches the stream or whatever. Since we're in a teaching moment, everyone knows how much I love to do that. My life lessons and all that. Hey, Primzy. Hey. Could you, uh, do one of your removed diseases on me? Yeah, I could. One of those, one of those guys did a number on me and... Strength did you get the herb? Right. Thank you. I, I did get the herb. One and four. I need, I need a salve. <laughs> I have a cream for that. That's what Tobrell always says. I don't know if it's true. If anyone would know, though. Ah, uh, yeah. One and four. All right, I think we're good to go. Uh, what do you guys want to do? You guys want to do the traps and get all the sweet bonuses, or um, um no, I think no. You should okay. talk to the guy and tell him to do the traps, and then we can do the Dan quest. Okay. Easy mode it is. Yay! Easy we can, mode. We can still go for the chest or something in the um first guy's room. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Okay, so so you're gonna have a big complaint about monster champions, but clearly you can see that we are not the most overpowered group in the world, and we're really monster champions are basically an afterthought in this group. I know it may not be the experience of everybody, and you have to be careful not to, you know, equate your experience with that of everyone's. But really, <laughs> well, and. <clears throat> Not to tease it too much, but um, there's a lot of interesting point of views that we just didn't take in consideration because uh, I think Les and I both feel very much like you do. It's like mm -hmm. they just mm -hmm. add that little extra spice, right? They're like the, yeah, the pepper like on, your, on your macaroni yeah. and mm -hmm. cheese. You want that Tabasco on your, you know, eggs. Right, but not everyone likes pepper. So we were curious about, 
you know. Not everyone uh, has time for pepper. Not everybody correct. eats pepper with their friends. It's just, you know. Right. So we just, we wanted to, to ask, and we got a couple of good emails, because we didn't understand the complaints. So it was, it was, uh, it's nice to... To get those people's point of view. So once again, if you have a complaint about the Monster Champions, drop us an I email do. so we can so we can talk about them on the uh, cocktail hour, which should I, record I, this I can week. I share a complaint. Sure, go. For what it. did I say? What did I say? I said send us an email. <laughs> oh, go ahead. No, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go AFK and Pike. I gotta write an email. <laughs> Samus's orders. I have an email from Bonnie Bue already. But it's not complaining about. Champions. All right, that's oh. a fair point. Do but whatever. you don't want to. Well, I want to complain that there aren't enough champions for me. Oh <laughs> no! What? I think that's, that's legit. my girl. That's a legitimate Lessa, complaint. I have I thought you were supposed you to be over here finding this me. trap. <laughs> what Wait, trap? No one's died yet. Over here, behind this wall. What? Surrounded oh, that, by more traps. Oh, that That's what Bonnie trap. you said you were gonna do. Oh, this oh, is yeah. Vagabond is like, Vagabond is like, this is all you. Let's uh, go ahead. I'll like, do I'm it. Not it's not a problem. Anything. I cry. So all what, right. I want to just inject. So where are we going to complain about the issues with monster champions? Send an email to Samus or Lessa, either one at ddococtailer.com. We are about to die. I salute you. Most okay, people on. are sending them to Lessa at ddococktail.com because people believe that she cares more than I do. Which is probably true. Yes. Come see if you can find this second box, Vagabond. I, I don't can't. think there is a second I box anymore. I there's one over here. Like, I seem to remember there was really? something on a pillar outside here or something. Yeah, that sounds right. I feel like they changed it, and there's just the one box, and this one here will never turn off. I thought off. there was two boxes. Because My search is I only like a 51. I for the longest time, I never believed there were actual trap boxes for that stuff, and then somebody I was in a party with found them, and I was like, what? Oh, well, let's find See, out. See, there, there was My search one, is 52. <laughs> there was let's one, like, right Jerry open here, the and one on this that side. Yeah, Jerry, get in there and open that chest. I'm the king of the world. I chest is locked. He'll open it, and he'll open anything! It's probably true. But yeah, Bonnie View, that's not where you want to stay in. Ooh, I failed. This has a super high DC, but I only rolled a five, though. That is where the trap will go. That one in front of the Succeeded! thing will get you on the way out. Yeah, that one doesn't turn off, that one behind us. Right. Hey, Les, I'm going to give you, you know, these goggles. I think you might be right, though. I would be curious, so oh. what happens if you stand up here on this box and search? Do you find something? Um, I don't think so. Like I said, the last... There used to be two, but one was on this... On one wall, and one was on this wall right behind the chest. So it kind of tricked you. But that's when there was stuff shooting across and going up and down. I think they took out the up and down blades. If that makes sense to everyone. Yeah, I think you're right. And and then they took when they did that, they took that second trap trap box out. I think and I I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that was made when they were doing the epic work. Cuz I still I still often get confused with uh Pre and post epic find quests. You, know, you get used to doing a quest a certain way, and, and it's slightly different, and get all confused. It's so weird not having the traps go off in your face. So, hey, just to finish real quick, it's just lessa at ddo.com. 
ddococktailhour.com. Okay. You were in the DDO cast Family Feud, weren't you? I uh, don't think no, so. No, I, I think I rec I just thought I recognized his voice. No, I wasn't. Yeah, he's only kind of considering joining the Defense Guild in the last, uh, what, maybe two months or so? Yeah. Ours is down to three people, and one doesn't play at all anymore. Uh, so. Someone brings up a thing with monster champions in chat that I guess is worth addressing here, and that is, uh, they were like, well, champions suck because I've had a really bad experience with them in low-level quests. Uh, that should no longer be the case. Uh, we now have... <clears throat> champions will not spawn uh, uh, below level 5. So, uh, if that was your experience previously, you know, it should no longer be your experience. That's weird, because... Uh, they said obviously the wife and I just recently did a, a TR. We're currently level 14, maybe. I think we're comparable here because we just got our shroud stuff. Uh, so maybe 12. And uh, we went through, and again, this is uh, that elitist attitude that I don't want to come across, but we didn't have any problems with the champions. We did run across a couple. Um, and they did, uh, you know, occasionally surprise us with like, oh my goodness, we're going to die. Um, but I, I don't feel like that was necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. But they I, were, the they were I had handable. problems was the first day they were out and I was doing like Kobold's new ringleader, which of course really doesn't apply to anymore. And once I, once I realized that, okay, these are champions, this is what they're about, then knowing is half the battle. Right, like my problem with the monster champions was doing the epic elite quests and uh, taking 5,000 point damage hits. Uh, I was not expecting that. That's a different thing, though. Yeah, I think whenever you have a champion caster, that can be kind of like, oh man, I yep. can get nuked. But it's, my so, it's random and stuff, and I don't know. I think it adds to the joy and challenge. Yeah, no, my, my experience was the first day it was out in Trial by Fire. There was two in the group of trolls, and they each had 6,500 hit points apiece. And it was like, oh my. Yeah, but 6,500's not really that much. Not when you're doing, you know, Well, this is heroic. This was heroic. Yeah, that's quite a bit when you're in heroics. Sure. But I mean, they're trolls. That's what they're for, for right? To stand there and take a beating. <laughs> yeah. It, it, my, it certainly changed the soloing aspect. And that's where I kind of fall. You know, being in a really small guild or, you know, almost non-existent, having to do a lot of soloing. I'm in a solo guild. I agree. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, uh, there's a bit, you know, obviously that's been a huge discussion, <clears throat> you know, throughout our community about uh, the difficulty in that, you know, because the game had gotten somewhat, uh, well, depending who you talk to, somewhat to somewhat significantly easier in, say, the past year. And so mm -hmm. people who were used to that level of difficulty may have a much different experience than people who are a little more veteran in the game and have seen oh, that difficulty traitor. sort of come and go over time. I just crashed my, my graphics. Sure. What? <laughs> what did you do? My graphics card had a... Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling it's crashing a lot more than just her graphics card. <laughs> yep. Right. Well, so, so just well, to finish my point real quick, was is there any talk of having a solo difficulty level for que all the quests? There is. I uh, mean, I, back in the well, day, technically, well, maybe like casual, didn't casual level? used to be called solo at one point? It was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, I didn't know that. If on the, that the entry menu, if you could turn on or off the champions... 
Yeah, but then that might okay. be interesting. So let's pretend that that's. I don't want to get into that actually because I think that's a suggestion. But uh, you know, without getting too deep into it, let's say they did have the opportunity to do that, right? Um, without having to go in and make who knows how many thousands of out man hours or hundreds of man hours to to put that switch in. Um, what is the disadvantage then of hitting that box? Yeah, why would... It, I mean, ultimately, if the goal of Monster Champions is to increase the overall difficulty of the game, frankly, because it had gotten perhaps a little too easy for a lot of folks, then what would be the benefit of basically having an opt-out feature? Well, it, it, you're, you're making it easier so you wouldn't be getting the remnants, you wouldn't be getting the extra chests... I had thought maybe at one time as well, you might get a bonus to your XP on a sliding scale like you do uh, with kills or traps disabled with how many monster champions you encounter. Maybe a, a 5%, 10%, say 15% bonus to overall XP. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps. I mean, it's, it's, it is an unsettled uh, question. I don't think there is anything is absolutely set in stone at this point. So it depends, but but I think right now, you know, and I realize that there are counter-arguments to this argument, but one could argue that we do have that option, and uh, it's called running it on normaler. Right, you know, so you have normal. lesser yeah. settings than Elite, and actually it's uh, 130. I don't know yep, what yep. other people have plans for, but uh, I imagine since Jerry went to the office, Jerry can't go super long. But Yeah, I need to go in a few minutes here, but as long as we're having this discussion, you know. But but again, yeah. we do want to hear that feedback because, um, like I say, nothing is absolutely 100% set in stone here. We may have a current position on it, which is, I think it's unlikely that we would see a checkbox. Um, but that's not to say it would never happen, especially if it's something that the community feels very strongly about. So if that is you, and you think that there are enough of you that you'd really feel that that's development time worth doing, let us know, you know. I sure. say I've, we've said it numerous times on the show, on the live streams, everywhere, basically. The squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? So <laughs> um, the reason why yeah. this, ha this came about is because people were, the squeaky wheels were... Um, the game has gotten too easy. I mean, that was the that was the squeak that kept going off all the time. And if this was an overcorrection, then you guys have to be the squeaky wheel to uh, turn it back. I mean, that's just kind of the nature of the beast. So, I personally am not good at being the squeaky wheel. Uh, <laughs> but me either. I mean, I certainly don't pay attention. I don't read forums enough and stuff to like be squeaky in that medium. Yep. Sure. So I think, you know, uh, additionally as well, we did debut champions uh, at a much harder difficulty, you know, due to increased spawn rate than we currently see right now. And so after we, you know, debuted them at a pretty high level and then dialed that back, I think fairly significantly, you know, we're curious to know whether people still feel that it is too easy, too hard, just right, that kind of thing. And, um... So that's another thing to consider as well, is that things have changed uh, over the last month or so here. That is true. I, I saw a difference definitely from the first day. I think it's some of the epic content, they, they're still quite a challenge. I don't find them a great challenge in Heroic right now, but they were quite strong at one point. All right, I really do actually need to uh, call it a live stream here. I'm going to get this out on uh, YouTube and Twitch. Uh, going to announce the downtime, which, by the way, if you're listening to this, it's 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to deploy a brief hotfix, and again, the main point of this hotfix is to fix remaining stackable issues in character banks. Some people have stacks of potions and scrolls that they're having a hard time getting out. Of their I can't either, yep. So that should be fixed uh, as of uh, late tomorrow morning. We do have a couple other little fixes in there as well. I've got uh, some hot fix notes up. We're actually bringing in the nerf to uh, swashbuckler single weapon fighting 
It was in the last, oh! the notes last time, but didn't actually take. So Yay. this time it's there. Oh, tears on the inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That and, is no fair. <laughs> and uh, oh, I guess <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I know my swashbuckler is going to be sad too, but uh, oh, but they'll still be, be fine. Yeah, they'll yeah, do yeah. fine. Yeah. Uh, we do actually, I think, have a, a little kind of. Uh, behind the scenes, a little investigation going on in regards to lag, uh, and some of that oh, uh, yeah. technology is in there as well, where we're, we can uh, inject essentially a little bit more additional layer of monitoring into things, so that it'll help us uh, track down and get good data on some things. So that'll be in the hotfix as well. But I don't think that's in the notes, because like I say, it's not actually something you'd encounter in any, any way. So. But that's stuff that'll be there tomorrow, so until uh, next time, I want to thank you very much, Bonnie and Lessa and Samus. Vagabond for uh, uh, joining me. And uh, let's see, DDO Cocktail Hour, BonnieBew.com, and uh, follow us all on Twitter. You can find us pretty easily. So, Until next time, actually, anyone else got any final thoughts? Anything else you want to say? I just remember on, on Sunday, um, Blank and or dungeons and blank or however we're gonna call it so dungeons Hope. and backside maybe <laughs> <laughs> and, again, and, and, and again that'll be at twitch.tv slash samus garobo that is correct which again by the twitter is also a good way to to find that out so and the live swap is on on lessa's and samus's channels that is yep, correct. Friday. On Friday at 12.30 yeah. Salina time. Or Salina mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Central mm -hmm. time. And what is that again? That is where I am playing a paladin and Lessa is playing a wizard. You're a wizard, Emmy! Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, you're a life wizard. <laughs> and nice. we are we're live streaming that. We're level two. Yep. Uh, send level me three. A, we're level three. Send me a DM or something on Twitter and we'll make sure we get that promoted as well. So. Oh, and that goes do. for all of you listening. If you're streaming or whatever and you want it to get uh, rebroadcast by uh, DDO, uh, just ding us on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'd be happy to do that for you. So, All right, until next time, we will see you guys next week. Thank you. So long.